Hey guys, Rich Page, R. Jemathan, Timber Frame Company, Maine Timber Framer. I've had a couple of inquiries about what I'm using for a power and power sources to power up some of the equipment we've got in the shop. We just picked up a MP360 uh, wood miser four side planer. So pulling about, I don't know, 60 amps or so, 58 amps, three phase. And people asking how, how you're running it, what's your setup look like. So let me take a couple minutes and show you what I've got for setup. Uh, may not be perfect. It's kind of cobbled together through the years, but I'll show you what I'm doing and how it works. All right, let me move the camera around. Okay, so I'm going to start out here. You know, initially we started out, we had a 100 amp panel. I like to, I like to label all my panels. So this is, this is my original 100 amp panel. I had a 100 amp service uh, coming in. I've got, a couple, uh, I've got a couple places I've got to fill in on my panel here. You know, you get it labeled up here to what, you know, what's running where and so forth. Uh, so 100 amp panel here. I recently upgraded it and I put in a 200 amp panel over here. So in this 200 amp panel, I've got this... 100 amp panel over here subbed from this one so that so i'm taking 100 amps out of here then with this one i'm also running it to my three phase converter uh which is down here on the floor so this is this is my this is my motor i think it's a 30 horse motor american rotary there's some of the specs. And what I did with American Rotary was I told them what I had for a machine, for the wood miser machine, all the different motors, the, the KW requirements on the motor. And this is the, uh, the setup they recommended. So this is the, uh, the three-phase uh, setup for my wood miser uh, planer. And that's all I've got running right now. And what I've done from this panel is we subbed out a three-phase panel, which is over here. And you'll see I've got it labeled up over here. Currently... I only have one breaker in here, the 60 amp breaker uh, for my my wood miser. I bought on eBay a couple extra 20 amp panels, uh, breakers, excuse me, to set up so I could have a couple different circuits. I won't necessarily run all the circuits at the same time, but it's nice to have the connection in place. So that's kind of what I have for a setup here. Now, the other thing I have, I'm going to show you up top here, is another three-phase converter. This is my original three-phase converter, and I've been running this one. I don't, I don't remember all the details because it's been quite a few years, but I've been running this one, you know, my five-horsepower uh, radial arm saw, uh, Powermatic 90 uh, wood lathe three phase uh, Delta Rockwell uh, bandsaw three phase. So what I've done is I picked up a lot of equipment over the years that's three phase, relatively cheap to pick it up used, and then I uh, just got the converter and was able to uh, get it wired up so that I can use the three phase in my shop. Now in my shop coming in, I only have two phase, uh, excuse me, single phase coming in. Uh, and that's where I have to use the, the phase converted to give me the third leg. So that's my setup, uh, running for running, uh, the different, you know, different size wires and so forth. I had an electrician friend come over, so we got everything sized up about right. Uh, I think for the wood miser planer, the 360, we're running a four aught wire, uh, and that's the four, four aught Romex wire right here. Um, one other thing I did want to show you real quick too, kind of shops in a jumble here, making some cabinets. Uh, but I want to come over here to the wood miser and show you. Uh, I've got this wood miser located here now, but I might move it. So this is the connection, and this is an ABB. I want to turn this and show you what I've got for a connection here. Okay, so this is what I've got for a plug. This is this is a male and female plug. Kind of pricey. Bought them on eBay. Very very reasonable. So if I happen to want to move. Uh, this setup, I'll be able to unplug the machine, move the machine, and then look at my wire, see what I can do to rerun my wire and plug it back in. So it's kind of nice to have a plug on your machine. The other thing is, if you'll look over here, yeah, I got a Wood, uh, wood Miser MP100, and that is a single phase, seven half horse uh, setup. And what I've got here is it runs down a festoon, you know, homemade festoon cable here with the dust collection. And then this is what I've got for the plug for the Wood Miser uh, MP100 over here. And again, I picked this plug up and this, this plug inside here, the female, uh, I picked up both of those on eBay, very reasonable, uh, got it wired up. And like I said, I got an electrician friend, he's pretty clever, and he's come over and made sure that I don't burn down my shop with what I'm doing. And uh, if I've got something that's not quite right, well, he'll, he fixes me up pretty good. So anyways, that's my setup for the Woodmiser 
uh, MP360. That's my setup for the MP100. I'll put together some videos coming up on a little bit more on the planing on the Woodmiser 360, and we'll do some beam planing on the MP100. All right, so as far as the electrical goes, I hope this helps. Uh, Three-phase converter is certainly the way to go. If you talk to the folks here over at uh, American Rotary, tell them what your requirements are. They'll spec out the right uh, setup for you. So that's where my setup came from was me giving them the specs. They recommended the system, and that's what I bought. All right. If you have any questions, uh, please be, be free to uh, send them along. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.